Hello, it's me, Milton. What we're going to be having a look at today, and hopefully this will be quick, right, is how this dust system connects to this DeWalt drill, and is it going to be any good, and when the button's on the wall, will it actually suck the dust through it to see whether or not it's going to be viable to actually use this. Of course, it will be hooked up to the shop vac. So, anyway. Let's get things started and see what all comes together. First of all, we've got to take this off. Okay, it's off. We don't need that, so we'll... On the bench. There we go. This bit goes on this way round with a little yellow tab there, as you can see. Right. Oh, no, it doesn't. My fault. Let's put this ring on first. This ring's important. Sorry, my fault. And it goes on the sink. You have to turn this a certain direction. Yes, it goes to the top. The open bit goes to the top. This bit here. Right? So we then place this on here like so. And it only goes on one way, I'm afraid to say. So those of you who want handle in different positions, you're out of luck on this one. And this is when it starts getting fiddly. There we go. It's on. So, you got to keep this piece here flush down. Now, one of the reasons why it's not readjustable is because of this bit here it goes in here a little bit too tight. I know I'm at distance, I can't come forward and show you. Not unless I pause the camera and do it. Well, okay then, maybe that might be an idea then. Alright, that's what we'll do. We'll pause the camera and move it in. Now, it should be close enough. Basically, the open bit goes to the top and this bit has to go like this. And it's all connected up this way on. There's another piece still to go on yet, but we'll get round to that in a minute or two. Okay, it's a bit slower this time. And that is the way it actually goes. And you've got to have this tight, very tight. <coughs> is this still on right? No. No, it's like it. Tight as I can get it. Right, I'll put the camera back now. Right, we're flashing again. That's it. We're good. We're good to go. Just make sure, yes, that little light is on, as far as I can tell. And I'm just making sure that light's on, yeah. Okay, then. Now, this. You fall on the floor. Well, this it won't fall any further. Right, this piece here has a cone shape on it. Again, quite self explanatory. You slide it on like that, and it clicks into place. To undo it, the little yellow button here, you just do that and it comes away. So, that's on now. Now, the next bit is the drill bit, which has decided to commit suicide off the table. Right. Now, we now put the drill bit in place. Simple enough. Try and see if we can do this to show you. You don't have to struggle shoving it through there, just push it through there like that. And you put it on there like that and click. Now, this is a bit now where you've got to line this up a bit there. Now, so we've lined that up. Now, this drill bit isn't quite long enough to actually go through, and I want it to go through. This whole thing here has readjustment screws on it. So I pull it like this. So, as far, just about to there. Right? And this one here, you move up, and that's it caught. I can come a little bit further. Yeah, just a bit. There we go. There, it's in place. I like mine just slightly through. Yes, I've used this before. You see, so that way I know when I've located. And again here, strain it up a little bit. That's it, bang in place. Let's see if that'll tighten anymore. No, it won't tighten. As you can see, this bit does actually move around. You can position it into place. Okay then, so that's, that's basically good to go. We're in hammer mode. It's like this, and it goes like that. Now, the next bit to go on is the air hose, which is across here. Now, this is very, very substantial, this hose. By the way, model number on this is the wall D25301D. The hose pipe you get with it is really substantial. I mean, this is good. But if you've got the DeWalt shop back, the 18 volt one, this hose pipe doesn't fit onto it in any way, shape, or form. Crazy. You could extend the hose pipe for it if it would work, but it doesn't. And of course, it doesn't go on this way. No, not that end. This is the end that goes on there. 
which again, a bit of a bad design. You'd think it would go to the outside, but who am I? Right, next piece will hook up to the shop vac. Okay then, let's get that done. I'm gonna find the button. Right, post pipe just connects in there like so, which is up for, for a surprise, it does actually fit in. I am actually surprised at that. Now, we'll put that down there. So what happens now is, when it's hooked up to the shop vac, and it's moved again, that's what I hate about this, it moves about an awful lot. You pull the trigger, and Hoover will activate. And then it'll all switch off again, so it's going to be a bit noisy. So what we're going to do is, we're going to be putting some buttons in here. Again, I'll stop it again, and get the equipment. Now, these are the button bolts we are actually putting in. They are 100 millimeters. They are 7.5 in diameter. They are self-cutting thread. They're for brick, concrete, masonry, uh, stone, you name it. They self cut. They self cut the threads in. And of course, they do have a double countersink head, but I'm not going to use that. I'm actually going to pre countersink and pre drill them as well. I'm not using the drill to actually make the hole through. Reason: If the wood it's going to be seen by people. It's not advisable to stick your drill through the wood. Sometimes you can actually cause problems, split the wood, especially if you go near a knot. And if people are going to see the wood, you pre-drill first. It's quite simple, six mil bit, no problem at all. But if nobody's going to see it, it doesn't matter, just stick the drill in and get the job done. So I'm going to very quickly, somewhere along here, there'll do, over here, not here. I'll do it here. I shall countersink and drill. Just here. It's simple, it's a 12 mil countersink, nothing special. No, we'll go in here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take that out. We get a 6 mil bit. I could have stuck this into the, uh, the Milwaukee Surge. Simple, 6 mil hole. So that means there'll be no splitting, no nothing. We'll take that out. Now, something else I did forget to mention. Really and truly, this type of button bolt here is not really designed for outside work. It will corrode. You're supposed to use, the, I think, it's the zinc coated ones, the silver ones. In fact, double glazers are supposed to use them, but they use these because their attitude is it's all protected and the weather won't get to it. Fine, okay. This is what you should be using, these blue ones from the wall. They have a very good anti-corrosion system in them. I've tried them out and I've got them in some parts of my wall in here and I must admit they are very good and they will come straight out again. It's, again, But these can corrode in. But as for this job, it's only for a short time. It doesn't matter. So remember that if you put these in the wall and leave them in for a few years, chances are you're not going to get, get them out and that's even with an impact. And it's a T30 head on the end of them as well which if you buy them, you usually get that supplied. Okay then, so let's move into position now and get this done. So all we'll do is we'll move the camera over to see the whole thing under operation. What I'm trying try to do is, when I go in with it, I'm trying to suck the brick dust out of here through it for a reason. I've had this for a while and I'm just going to try it with a button in between to see whether or not it will suck it all the way through and not fall down there. And in case you're wondering again, I've just had the cavity wall insulation done and the man that came around and drilled I have suffered, I've washed this backyard down now three times and I'm still getting red brick dust coming it's absolutely everywhere As you can see, some brick dust got up there and some brick dust did come through, but that wasn't bad because that's quite a big gap. 
and it obviously came through because it's marked to wood with brick dust. So let's just pop this in. There we go. Into place, not moving. And guess what I forgot to do? Get the spirit level and level it. Okay then, let's have a look at that. Okay then, spirit level's on. Actually, that wasn't too bad, I guess that. It's actually just towards that way. I'm swearing whether I should take it out and do it again. I suppose perfection. Let's take it out and do it again. Alright. If you're going to do the job right, do it. Right. See if we've moved. A little bit. Right, let's hope it takes it. Okay then, let's go. Hmm. Not good for your spirit level. Don't tell me. Jammed. Check. Got it. There we are. In. Okay then, let's move to the other end now and have a look at that one then. See what that one's going to look like. Right, this time round, moving the spirit level down here. Looks like this wants to come up a bit. Yeah, it will. Right, we'll go in roughly here. Yeah, about here I'll do. Okay. Put that one out. Put this one back in. Ow! I bet that just come to something we thought. No! Give me this. Put the surge down here. Actually, I'm we putting it the right bit. What we are now. Is that done? That's the shin a bit better. Actually, just before I forget. Lovely hole. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get this into place. It is. Here we go. Lift this up a bit. Yep. Take this off. You see it did some dust came out but then again there was a rather large gap there so we won't get upset about it right. let's get the button bolt see how we're doing here and the surge is down here right. oh, dropped it 
Struggling again. It's because it hasn't cleaned all the uh, dust out of it. It's not actually sucking it through. It, the wood has to be closer to the actual wall for this to happen. Right, so we'll get sorted out now. Well, we can now safely say that if there's a gap between the batten and the wall, it might bring some of the stuff through, but it's not bringing it all out. That's why that last batten bolt that I actually put in there actually was having a problem going in because of too much brick dust inside. I have experimented with this thing close up and what I found is if you're right up against the wall and you suck all the dust out of it, those band bolts just fly in no problem at all. So it's nice to know that that, that is part of a problem with it and you would have thought with the shop vac down here it would have had enough suction to do it, obviously not. So if you can see this now, this whole set it's some setup. I mean, you've got the hose pipe, you've got this piece, this piece, you've got to remove your other bit off it, and then you've got the shop vac. And if you haven't got one that actually has the automatic switch on, like this one, when you pull the trigger on the drill, you're going to have to leave your drill running uh, or get all your holes lined up and switch your hoover on so you can quickly go around it all and do it all. Really, if you're doing lots of holes, yeah, great system, but for setting up here, just to do three, because you've got to remember, we came out and put the middle one in to get some balance done, so we weren't struggling, and of course, then I had to remove this one here, and it is definitely sucking the dust through, through. and just talking about dust and everything, I've had problems drilling in here with percussion drills at the moment, and just normal then bits that you put into your impacts that will drill masonry. Honestly, this wall here has got so many oddball bricks in it that are rock solid. Even the SDS drill here was struggling to get into it. So, and you can see there is brick dust running up and down the wall, so it didn't get it all. But on the whole, at least it's not as bad a mess as what it normally is. But anyway, there must be a better system that's quicker and easier than having to get all this paraphernalia ready. Could you imagine it? If my dad came around and says, right, we're going we're to do that job now outside, so let's go. Let's take the SDS drill now and let's put the buttons and everything on the wall and get ready for it. Hang on a minute. We've got to take all this. All right, you might have a hoover at the other end that I can connect into this. But then you've got all this stuff running about the place and lying about on the floor. And this whole system that's on this now actually cost me 80 quid off Amazon. Personally, I like the hose. I think it's very butcher macho. The rest of it though, I mean this has got a bad habit for moving around, you can actually move this into different positions, so your actual drill bit is actually off to one side and you're coming out through here, no, nah, it's not good, I want a better system, there must be a better system somewhere. Well, as you can see, now we're back inside the house, where they turned rubbish. So, I thought about it, I went on the Amazonian channel. Had a look through there, and I found something. So this is my solution to the problem. It won't solve all the problems, but it will solve some of them. Right. Yes. And a hyperfilter system, which connects on here like so. And that way, we don't have to worry about leads and all the rest of it. It's all connected. This powers the hyperfiller here, what more do you want? As I say, it won't solve everything. It means basically, if the button is slightly off the wall, you're still going to get dust going down between it. But at least we have a clear filter here at the front. We might be able to actually see how much it's actually picking up. So, when I'm doing the hammer fitting video, we'll be testing this out to see how it actually performs. So then, I'm called Little, I'm sorry, I'm called Milton, channel's called Little Milto, subscribe if you want, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave comments below, I'm easy going, I'm not bothered what goes on. So anyway, thanks for watching, and the next time you see me, hopefully, I'll be doing some hammer fittings, when the weather gets better outside again, because I must admit, it has gotten a bit colder outside. 
Okay, bye now. Thanks for watching.